So there's this Jay-Z song that I have in my car. Um, like, I don't know exactly what the song's called, but he, he says over and over, um, they can hear my truth. And in the song, he's basically talking about how he's an intelligent person and he knows the way, like he's, he has wisdom, but he, but he doesn't really rap that, you know, intelligently or rap with wisdom because that's not what is going to make him successful. So there's a line in there that says where he says, um, I dumbed down my records to make twice the sales. He says, you know, something like an effect of where, you know, I might not be educating these people, but I got them all to say holla. You know, so something like that. I don't, it's not word for word, but he did definitely say, you know, I dumbed down my records to make twice the sales. And he's also talking about how, you know, he's able to, he's capable of rapping like more conscious rappers like Common Sense and Twali Kwali. Now, Common Sense and Talib Kwali, they're rappers, but they're not nearly as popular or well-known as Jay-Z. Jay-Z is one of the guys out there that's like, he's, he's extremely successful in the rap industry, and it's because he learned to dumb down his music to cater to the commercial, um, commercialized public. Even though he's an intelligent person, he's claiming part of his intelligence is to dumb down his music to generate sales. And um, every single artist that's ever lived that wants to reach success as far as generating profits, they're going to come at the, the, that crossroad and decide like what they're willing to do and what they're not. And I think this is very similar to what um, I'm trying to do is, you know, I'm into hip hop music, um, certain people, like some of those tracks by Jay-Z I really like. And then um, I like Tupac a lot. And a lot of those that music that I listen to, there's a lot of swearing. And that's not for everybody, but that's the music that I like. And for me, like, I don't see rappers that, that express themselves creatively using profanity or even if they don't use profanity or even if they use the N-word or whatever, I don't see them as evil people. I don't judge them as bad people. Um, but a lot of these videos, I speak against the MMA, I speak against the cage fighting, I see that that's, 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 that activity is not right. Not just is it unhealthy um, for your body and your mind and your spirit, but it's just, you know, I just don't think it's, it's something that we, we should be doing as human beings. It's not an intelligent thing to do. We should be doing the greater things with our lives. And I think the rap, the hip hop, the music, the rapping, the rhyming, the poetry, that's like evolving from, that's like an evolution beyond cage fighting. It's like turning something violent physically into something violent verbally but creative, like verbal creative violence. Like Bruce Lee was violent physically but for entertainment and acting. He's acting out violence physically for movies, choreographed fights, that's okay. That's creative, that's artistic. And I see the same thing with Tupac and Jay-Z, Eminem. They rap violently, but it's, it's creative. And it's not like they're not physically hurting anybody. You know, and I, I value that. And that's why when I make videos, I might, I might not be the, the nicest person you know, I might swear sometimes, I might get angry, I might get aggressive, but I'm being creative. I'm being like like an artist, like a rap artist, like a poet who's just basically expressing anger or aggression or a high level energy through words that are aggressive. 
like like the rappers, like Jay Z, like Eminem, like Tupac, and I value that, and that's not going to change. That's part of my expression. That's why when people are so upset at me for expressing expressing you know myself the way that I am, it's it's kind of silly because it's almost like being upset at me for enjoying hip hop music. That's just a part of me. You can't. I'm not. Gonna, that's not going to change. It's like me getting upset at other people for enjoying classical music or country music. It's like, why would I get upset at them? That's just their, what they enjoy. And they're not hurting other people, it's just music. And for me, you know, this is just an expression, an artistic, creative expression of ideas. Um, using emotions and uh, aggressive energy as a way to um, make a more dynamic statement just like this music you know you don't want to work out to classical music all day sometimes you want to work out to high intensity energy music because that gives you more energy to work out you know and everybody has their likes and dislikes and I, I just view myself as an artist who likes to express myself express ideas and um, people have to stop being so sensitive about it. You know, if they really can't handle that type of language, then they just shouldn't watch. And that's it.